This is Tim Tucker, AE6LX from the Worldwide DX Radio Forum at www.worldwidedx.com. Today I'm doing a quick video of the 160 meter vertical antenna that I made, experimented with using mostly buddy pole components. And just thought I'd share how I did this. So what you can see here is the buddy pole tripod, the triple ratio switch ballon, into the Versity and then a couple of the masts stacked on top of each other to a couple of the 80 meter load coils which I'll explain how I tapped those in a second and this is a chameleon shock cord mast with the extension and a cap hat above it. I, now I did this configuration a couple of different ways talk about that as well but uh, this configuration is is working out pretty well better than expected of course there is the counterpoise wire I just took two of the buddy pole 80 meter wires and tethered them together strung it out around the yard all right let's talk about the the load coils here this was quite a trick to get this to work um, Right now, I found that the easiest way to get this to match was with this cap hat. I originally did this without the cap hat, and then someone donated this to me, so I put it in line. Without the cap hat, what I found was that I had to uh, find really probably the best resonance first by adjusting this coil, um, this, this tap here, and then adjust this one to dip. I used antennalizer to find it. This one would, moving this up and down, would widen or narrow the bandwidth but it would also make the SWR dip um, with it was really really picky with just the straight whips before I put the cap hat on once I put the cap hat on um, it took a little bit of the coil out of here as you would expect um, but what I found was that the tuning was more forgiving um, that I could adjust either one of these and it it didn't make as big of a swing as before so all I ended up doing was leaving this one alone where it was adjusting this one to take some of the coil out and I found the low SWR. Of course adjusting the ground uh, radial is, is necessary too. I did this originally with just a 102 inch whip or 12 inch foot whip, whatever it was, I forgot from MFJ. I think it's a 12 foot telescoping stainless steel whip and that worked as well but it was really flexible and moving all around in the wind caused the SWR to fluctuate quite a bit. Um, with this particular setup using a combination of components, mostly buddy pole, and like I said, this this shock cord whip from Chameleon, I have achieved an SWR of about 1.75, right at 1.9 megahertz, and I've used this for uh, making you know several contacts on FT8, uh, some voice stuff. It's really noisy here in the big city, uh, right next to the house. If I was going to make this a little bit more uh, useful, I'd move it away from the house into the yard. But I wanted to do this just outside the shack to see what see what I could do. So here's a, another kind of view of this portable 160 meter vertical going up there. The whole antenna is probably, let's see, this, this uh, chameleon whip is 17 feet and this extension here, this setup here with the, ex the, the arms, extension arms, it's probably another six foot plus on top of the on top of the tripod. I can raise and lower the tripod. I've kept it fairly low um, just because of the wind and don't want the thing to tip over. It's fairly top heavy. But uh, it's it's working. I, this was an experiment to see if I could figure out how to get it to work and, and I did. By the way, um, having a one-to-one -one, uh, choke ballon here proved to be absolutely critical. Uh, you don't necessarily have to use this particular one from Buddy Pull but without it the feed line just radiated too much. I've only got maybe 20 feet of, of feed line going into the shack just inside the house here but uh, that was absolutely critical to getting this to work. So anyway there it is 160 meter buddy pole configuration that uh, I have been using successfully for a few weeks now. Hopefully somebody else uh, finds this useful and can have some fun. This is A6LX from www.worldwidedx.com